What's up on YouTube? Hello everybody, this is Joshua Dearden, as you all know. I'm back for another video. Hello everybody, this is Joshua Dearden, as you all know. I'm back for Okay, everybody, so this is Dearden 2007, waiting all weekend to figure out what they're going to do for my seventh and hopefully final trainer. I'm also going to try and see if they can't bypass me past the, the 21 hours. But for everybody that wants to know why I've had seven trainers, here we go. I got on the truck on May 22nd and got off of his truck on the 8th of June because he wanted to go home for vacation. So, I got dropped off in Nashville for to wait for my second trainer. Was stuck in the Hallmark, checked in every day at the seating trailer. On June 13th, I got on the truck with my second trainer. Got on there. And in the videos that you're about to see, uh, he was texting, driving, swerving. Let these videos tell the story. We got into an argument. He threatened to kick my ass. There was all sorts of drama that was going on. So I sent a message to um, over the Qualcomm saying, hey, I, I want a new trainer. This is getting to be a toxic situation. The trainer got pissed off at me multiple times for doing a pre-trip because it, quote, unquote, took up too much time, but it was a 15-minute pre-trip. My third trainer never showed up. Trainer number four shows up to the yard. Um, everybody could hear the tire blowing air as he drove into the lot. They gave me him. I got on the truck. I logged on to the Qualcomm. Put myself on duty for a pre-trip. Walked around the truck. Found two busted headlights. I saw a tire that had air and a hole that big blowing air out of it. Uh, there were some issues with the other marker lights. I got done with my pre-trip, walked all the way around, checked tires and everything, and got in or did my Macro 24. I told him I'm not driving for two days or even 11 hours on a defective tire. And he said, uh, yeah, you are. And I said, no, I'm not. So I sent a uh, free form message, and I said, my trainer is asking me to do something illegal by driving on defective equipment and I don't think that's right. So I waited for a response. He got mad, got out of the truck, cussed me out, 
as he was leaving, walked into the red brick building at Western. The dispatcher, Chuck, told him to come get me and walk into the red brick building. So I walk in, and uh, that my trainer at the time tells me, um, talk to him. And I said, now? And he said, yeah, he's waiting for you. And I said, okay, hello, sir, what can I do for you? And I, I guess he was on the phone, but I was just following instructions. Um, he takes his earpiece out, slams it on the desk, and he's like, you know what, since you don't want to be patient, we'll talk. And he yells at me in front of everybody. And he says, uh, don't you ever fucking go over your trainer's head. Don't you ever put in the Qualcomm a defects because now because of your dumbass, this trailer has to be T called and this load's going to be late. That's on you. Let me ask you a question since you want to yell at me in front of everybody here in the red brick building. Let me ask you a question. He said, okay. Am I, re I said, am I required to do a pre-trip? He said, yes. So I go check. I said, let me ask you a a second question. When I find defects during my pre-trip, am I required to report those defects when I find them? He said, yes. And I go, check. So I said, at what point in time, Chuck, did I do the wrong thing? And I waited. And he said, don't talk to me that way. And you did your job. And I said, then why am I being yelled at? And I said, I'm not, I'm tired of being yelled at for doing the job the way DOT wants me to do it, the way Western Express teaches us to do it, the way I know I'm required to do it, and the way it's legit needs to be done. I reported the defects. They need to be fixed. It's not my responsibility that that load will be late. The person responsible is the trainer who brought it onto the yard, picking up a trainee, thinking that this trainee is going to not do his job the way he's taught to do, the way he knows it needs to be done. That's your trainer's defect. That is your job as a dispatcher to make sure your, your drivers are doing their job. Okay? You're the driver manager, right? So at what point in time did I do the wrong thing? And then Fred came over. Fred, the safety guy, came over and started yelling at me. He said, you know what? You want to keep talking to people that way? You can go home. If you don't like Western that much, you can pack your stuff and we'll put you on a bus and we can just wipe our hands clean. I said, I never said I didn't like it. I'm telling you, like I told him, I'm going to do my job the way Western wants me to do it and the way I know it needs to be done safely, legit. And if there is anything that puts my life my license or my job at risk, I won't do it. And that's exactly what I said. And me and Fred and Chuck went around and round. Some Matt guy came in and said, oh, I'm, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Don't worry, I'm on your side. We'll take care of this. You're right. You did your job. Even the logs lady said, you know what? Yeah, you did your job. And then they went into detail how um, oh, I, I reacted too loudly. I shouldn't have been loud. I shouldn't have overreacted. And, well, what people don't understand, when people get in my face and yell at me, I get emotional and I react. It's called a defense mechanism. Don't come at me and yell at me and cuss at me and then get butt hurt when I do the same thing back. Like, it's something I can't control. Like, I react. Like, it's like throwing fire on gasoline and getting mad that the gasoline is on fire. That's the dumbest fucking thing ever. Don't do it, and there won't be no actions. There won't be no reaction. Stay calm. Talk to me. I'm not your child, so don't talk to me like you're my parent, because you're not my parent. I'm not your child. We are both human beings we are both adults we need to interact as adults and keep it that way but if you want to talk to me disrespectfully and yell at me in a disrespectful mo way don't get mad when i do it back that's just something that sometimes i cannot control it's something that happens when you throw yourself in my face 
and treat me like a speck of shit. I will not react positively. With that being said, I got kicked off his truck and Fred and Matt both told me that twice. They both said, if you don't like Western so much, you can leave. I said, I never said I don't like Western. I never once said I had a problem with Western. I have a problem with the way I'm being treated by the driver trainers and the driver manager. And now I'm mad at Fred in safety. And I'm being told by people the best person to talk to is Dave Spaulding in safety, the safety director. So I go in there to the recruiting office where Dave Spaulding is, who's the safety director, and I speak to this awesome, kind, sweet lady. I think her name's Vanessa, or I think it's Vanessa. She's a redhead in the North Ending trailer. She, both her and Dave Spaulding sat down with me because she was she had interacted with Logan Adams, my recruiter, who who has stuck his neck out for me like three times now, and I'm very appreciative for that. He he's a good dude, good recruiter. He's stuck his neck out for me, and he wants me here at Western, and I want to be here. I don't have a problem with Western. I have a problem with the way I'm being treated by people here. Both her and Dave Spaulding sat down with me. She was in there because she was helping helping me stay calm. Like I told her, I want someone that's like in there that's capable of seeing things from my point of view and seeing when I get upset, she can, you know, take over and, and verbalize what I'm trying to say so that I, I don't, you know, overreact. They both said that everything I had to say in the meeting with Dave Spalding and her, there was nothing wrong with it. Everything I had to say and everything I did was listened to. Everything I said I was doing out there on the trainer's trucks, I was doing the right thing. Everything I said I was doing was the right thing. Because I'm doing my job the right way. He was so glad. Let me show you something that I was doing the job the way I was, and he said that he felt bad for the way that I've been treated by people here, that he doesn't condone that behavior at all, on any means, by anybody. And he went into his drawer, and he said, I will, he told me that he would personally take care of it, and he would talk to Fred, he would talk to everybody, and he reached in his drawer and he gave me like four or five of these free drinks at um, the pilot because he knows that I like Coca-Cola and I drink a lot of it. So he gave me like four or five of these. He also gave me a driver appreciation gift card to the pilots for $50. That's a hell of a deal. I don't care who you are. $50 is a lot of money when you're broke, which I am broke because I'm dealing with this BS. So, number four kicked me off. I came back to the Hallmark. I waited on trainer number five. He told me to be here at the main terminal at 8 a.m. Got here at 8. He never showed up. What's most important that Logs agrees that I do my pre-trips every day. I do my post-trips every day, and I do my equipment checks every day. That is required by Western Express. That is required by DOT. And I will do those, regardless of their feelings, because it's required. It's my job. It's what I'm supposed to do. And simply do a pre-trip the right way. And to be cussed at, yelled at, threatened, and kicked off these trucks for doing my job the way I'm supposed to do my job is both demeaning, annoying, disrespectful, and ridiculous. So at that time, that's two trainers at this time who are mad at me for doing a pre-trip and kicked me off the truck. For doing a pre-trip. Okay. So five. 
uh, bypassed me. I went on to a uh, seating trailer. They gave me a six trainer. The six trainer, we were out for about a week, six days. And every day I did my pre-trip, post-trip, equipment checks, everything. He never said anything. But we woke up, and for some reason, I, I don't know. I think he was in a bad mood. He was taking his frustrations out on me, and I was doing my pre-trip the way I was taught to do it. I did it the right way. I did it the way Dave Spaulding said I'm allowed to do it to cover my ass because they keep telling me to lie on the Qualcomm. So if they want me to lie on the Qualcomm, I won't lie on my iPad. And regardless of what anybody says, if it takes me longer than 15 minutes, who cares? Because Dave Spaulding, the head director of safety, agreed that it doesn't matter if it takes 15 minutes, 9 minutes, or 30 minutes. I'm allowed to do my pre-trips to cover my ass. And then when someone says, why didn't I report it? All I got to say is, hey, he wanted me to not do it. He threatened me, told me not to do it. So guess what? It's in here. Because he can't tell me what to do on my own iPad. And I don't care if it pisses him off. Because I'm doing my job the right way. I will always do my job the right way. And to be punished and threatened and yelled at and kicked off the truck and demeaned and have my finances fucked over for doing my job the way I'm taught to do it is unnecessary, uncalled for. We are told in training to do our pre-trips. For me to be threatened, that my job was threatened, my life was threatened, I was threatened to be sent home on a Greyhound for standing up for what they want us to do. Um, I was cussed out and threatened in the Red Brick building by Chuck outside of the building by Chuck, in and outside of the building by Fred. Unnecessary. Now, Dave Spaulding, Vanessa, the other Vanessa, Logan Adams, Mac in load securement, um, Jerry Wick, this is my shout out to all of you, because all of you are the only ones that have stood up, oh, Jason, the bus driver, him too, are the only ones here at Western Express that have stood behind me to believe in me and to help keep me here. So, Mac, thank you. Logan Adams, thank you. Vanessa, Vanessa, I th I'm hoping I'm not butchering your name, but everyone knows who I'm talking about. The redhead in the... The uh, supervisor in the recruiting North Building. Yeah, she's she's a sweetheart. She's a nice lady. Dave Spaulding, yeah. Jason, the bus driver. All of you have stuck your neck out for me since I've been here. And I appreciate all of you. So that is why I've been kicked off six trainers trucks. Technically, I didn't even get on two of the trucks because they just didn't want to take trainees but literally everybody who wants to talk shit and say what did you do to cause it it's your fault no it's not my fault i did my job i did it the way i was taught to do it i did it the way i was supposed to do it and that's it i have 21 hours left 21 hours left but i've been in training since May. Like it shouldn't be this hard. And the amount of threats and harassment and stress and anxiety and BS that I've gone through to get to this point to, that I've done 218 hours so far is unnecessary. It's uncalled for. So sorry it was long, but y'all wanted to know. And there it is. <laughs> Lane control, buddy. Lane control. <laughs>